Hey everyone, and welcome. Today we're tackling leak code problem 1792, maximum average pass ratio. It sounds a bit like a school principal's optimization problem. And, well, it kind of is. We'll break it down step by step, starting with the problem statement itself. All right, so here's the setup. We're given a list of classes. Each class has two numbers, the current number of students who will pass, and the total number of students. We're also given a number of extra brilliant students who are guaranteed to pass any class we assign them to. Our goal is to assign each of these extra students to a class to get the highest possible average pass ratio across all classes. So let's define our terms. The pass ratio of a single class is just the number of passing students divided by the total students. The average pass ratio is what you get when you add up all those individual ratios and then divide by how many classes there are. Our mission is to make that final average number as big as we can. This means we need to make the sum of the individual ratios as large as possible. This leads us to the core question. If you have just one extra student to place, where do you put them? The best strategy, a greedy one, is to put that student in the class where they will make the biggest positive impact. The impact or gain is the difference between the new pass ratio and the old one. So for each class, we can calculate this potential gain and we'll always pick the class with the highest gain for our next student. Let's walk through a simple example. Imagine we have two classes and one extra student. For the first class, which has one passing out of two total students, adding our brilliant student would change the ratio from one half to two thirds. The increase is about 0.167. For the second class, the ratio would go from three fifths to four sixths, which is an increase of only about 0.067. Clearly, adding the student to the first class gives us a bigger boost, so that's what we do. So our first idea is a straightforward brute force approach. We just take that logic we worked out and repeat it. For every single extra student we have, we'll scan through all the classes, calculate the gain for each, find the best one, and update it. Then we do it all over again for the next student, and the next, until we've assigned them all. Here's what that looks like in Python. We have an outer loop that runs for each extra student. Inside it, another loop goes through all the classes to find the one with the best gain. We keep track of the best one we've seen, and after checking all classes, we update its pass and total counts. Finally, after all students are assigned, we calculate the average of the final ratios. While this logic is correct, it's too slow for large inputs, and will likely time out. So why was the first approach too slow? Because for every single student we had to scan the entire list of classes again. That's a lot of repeated work. We need a way to avoid that search. And that's where a priority queue, or a heap, comes in. It's a special data structure that's incredibly good at one thing, keeping the most important item right at the top, ready for us to grab. Here's the plan. First we'll go through all the classes just once to calculate their initial potential gain. We'll put them all into a max heap, where the class with the highest gain automatically goes to the top. Then for each extra student, we just pop the best class off the top, update its student counts, recalculate its new potential gain, and push it back into the heap. The heap automatically reorganizes to put the next best option at the top. It's way more efficient. Just a quick technical note. Python's built-in heap is a min heap, meaning it always gives you the smallest item. But we need the largest gain. The classic trick is to simply store the negative of the gain. The smallest negative number is the one that has the largest absolute value. So by asking for the minimum, we're cleverly getting the maximum. All right, here is the full code for our optimized priority queue solution. It might look a little complex at first, but we'll break it down into its three main parts. Building the initial heap, distributing the students, and calculating the final result. First up, we initialize our heap. We loop through the input classes one time. For each class, we calculate its potential gain. We have a small edge case. If a class is already at a perfect pass ratio, the gain is zero. Then, we push a tuple onto our heap containing the negative gain, the passing count, and the total count. Next is the main loop where we assign the students. This loop runs for each extra student we have. In each iteration, we pop the top element from the heap. This is the class that gives us the biggest bang for our buck. We increment its passing and total students. Then we recalculate the new potential gain for this updated class and push it right back onto the heap. Finally, once all the extra students have been assigned, our heap contains the final state of all the classes. We just need to iterate through everything left in the heap, Calculate each class's final pass ratio, sum them all up, and divide by the number of classes to get our answer. So let's compare these two methods. The brute force approach has a time complexity of order k times n, 
because we do n checks for each of the k students. It's very space efficient though, the priority queue method is much faster. Building the heap takes roughly n log n time, and then each of the k student assignments takes log n time. This is a huge improvement. It does require extra space of order n to store the heap itself. So what are the big lessons here? First, this is a classic greedy problem. Making the best possible choice at each individual step leads us to the best overall answer. Second, it's crucial to identify the performance bottleneck. For us that was repeatedly searching for the maximum gain. And finally, once you find that bottleneck, use the right tool for the job. In this case, a priority queue turned a slow solution into an efficient one. And that's a wrap on maximum average pass ratio. I hope this breakdown was helpful. If you learned something, feel free to hit the like button, subscribe for more content, or ask any questions in the comments. And hey, if you're feeling extra generous, you can always support the channel through the Boba Fund. Thanks for watching, keep up the great work, and I'll see you in the next video.